For the next portion of this webinar, I'd like to introduce a good friend of mine and someone I worked with for a while, Ross Spano. He's an attorney that works for the firm of Christmas and Spano. Er Ross Spano is going to discuss the areas of foreclosure defense and try to answer some of the legal concerns that are involved in that area. A few things I'd like to mention about Ross, he's one of the most caring, competent, and trustworthy attorneys I've had the pleasure of knowing. Now I'd like to introduce Ross Spano. Hi, thank you, uh, Chris. I appreciate that uh, kind introduction. My name is Ross Spano, and it really is a privilege and an honor to be able to talk to you today about something that I think is so critical and so important. You know, I, I know that most of you, probably the vast majority of you that are watching this today, never ever in a million years thought that you would be in this situation that you're in right now. You've always held a good job. You've always paid your bills on time. You've always done everything that you need to do. And suddenly you find yourself either in foreclosure or on the brink of foreclosure. Probably not as a result of anything that you may have done. Maybe you've had an illness. Maybe you've lost a job. Maybe there's been an accident or some unforeseen life event that's occurred to you and now you're in this situation. Well, I want to tell you that what we do can help you. We have really the privilege of representing hundreds of clients who are in the very position that you are in. And it's important that you know your rights and that you have an opportunity to know what your rights are and to fight back. We've been a firm for over 15 years now, and we have collectively over 40 years of experience. We've represented thousands of clients, and we really highly value responsive and effective legal representation. The most important part of the relationship between an attorney and, and the client is the communication that the attorney can give to the client. Information, and that's what we value. What I want to talk to you about today a little bit is number one, some of the things that are going on with the law. Here in Florida, in the state of Florida, our Florida Supreme Court got together in early last year and they said we've got to do something about the problems that we're having with the foreclosure the glut in our court system with the foreclosure cases and that's happening really all across the country particularly in Florida Nevada California and many other states but it's really really bad in these states where there was a lot of speculation that occurred well the court the Supreme Court in Florida got together and they appointed a task force the task force got together and they came back with a a recommendation to our court here in Florida in August of last year and they said we want to implement you should implement mandatory mediation our Florida Supreme Court then issued an order in December several months ago and required that all of our chief judges in our various circuit courts issue an order requiring mandatory mediation some have some have not what that would require though is that in every foreclosure case here in this state the parties would have to get together and mediate the case during the litigation process, exchange information. So that's an important, I think, uh, very, very important aspect of what's happening in the law. There is another thing in, as far as the national level is concerned. Last year there was an effort on the part of some of our Congress, uh, congressmen and women to pass a law that would have allowed a bankruptcy judge in the context of a bankruptcy case to modify the terms of a mortgage that didn't pass. But I think given the nature of the crisis and the mounting uh, uh, kind of uh, flow that we've got with all these cases that are being filed, that may change. And we may see their, that, that uh, effort taken up again on the national level. And essentially, again, what that would do is it would allow uh, a bankruptcy judge to modify the terms, lower the terms of a mortgage to the point that would allow that person in bankruptcy to basically make things work with their other creditors and so forth. So that's something that you may see on the horizon. The other question that you may ask yourself is, why do I need an attorney? You know, uh, I can do it myself. I know a guy, I know a family member, they had another case, and maybe it was a breach of contract case or something like that, and they did it themselves and everything turned out all right. Well, I'm gonna tell you right now, that's probably not the approach that you need to take in the foreclosure case. Number one, we're not talking about a breach of contract, we're talking about your home. And number two, lenders and, believe it or not, even some judges, they really, really do not, I think, aggressively protect the lender's attorneys certainly are not in a position to even want to begin protecting your rights. But they really roll over. I think they steamroll over the rights of homeowners that are not represented. There are a number of defenses that we can make that are perfectly appropriate to make in the context of a foreclosure case. One of which is requiring the lender to produce the original note. I'll tell you this. 
that over 90% of the cases statistics show that are filed are not filed with the original note. The vast majority go to final judgment without the, the original note ever being presented to the court. That's wrong. And if you're not represented and you don't know how to effectively make that defense, you won't have that ability to be able to make that defense. There are a number of other defenses. Things in the uh, process of approving the loan, in the process even of modification discussions that you may have undertaken with the lender, uh, credit issues and uh, the Fair Debt Collection Practices Act that becomes implicated in these types of situations. And if you don't know how to effectively represent those defenses, you will suffer. Now I know you're sharp people, all of you, but you've not been trained in the procedural or the substantive aspects of the law and you simply should not try and do it yourself. What we do as attorneys is we aggressively defend you, we fight for your rights, and we put the lender in an obligatory position. We make them do their job. We give you the time that you need to work out of your situation and give you the opportunity to make the situation work for you. Either to get back on your feet, to possibly uh, short sale your home, which I think Chris is uh, discussing as well, I know he is, or possibly a Dean Lou, though there's some other options. But there are certainly options that make a lot more sense than simply walking away, closing your eyes, and putting your hands over your ears, and making like there's no problem. It is an issue, but there is something that you can do about it, but you can only do it if you call for help. So we would really like to help you. You know, you may think, as I said at the beginning of this uh, presentation, that you'd never be here in this situation. I want to tell you that you can do something about it. If you are on the very last knot at the end of the rope and you feel like you're just getting ready to let go, you need help. You need information and you need to contact the people that have the information to help you. So I really, really would encourage you to get in touch with us because we do want to help you. I'm going to ask Chris to uh, come back up now and talk some more. And I want to tell you a little bit about Chris from my own experience. I've worked with Chris for a number of years. He's helped a number of our clients. And I want to tell you there's probably not a guy in the business who knows more about these areas than he does. And there's not a guy in the business I think that you can trust more than him. He really has your best interest at heart and he will give you the story straight. He'll shoot plain with you and talk and explain things to you in a very plain, plain way to help you understand what your rights are. And I think you can trust him. Chris. Come so to get started, go to our website today at h, the number four, hconsulting.com and pick the package that best suits you and begin to fight back. Don't wait, don't hesitate, the bank certainly won't. And remember, there is hope with Hope for Homeowners Consulting.